Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we're going to take a look at our high boxing 2995. It's got a couple little upgrades done to it. We put some oil shocks on the back. We still got the friction shocks up front. The new versions, I do believe, come with the oil shocks all the way around. But we have our uh, 3650 brushless motor in there. We did have a 5200 kV motor in here, but we broke it after a year of bashing. Broke the shaft right off it. So we got a, I think it's a 4370 kV in there with our 120 amp ESC. Uh, can run on two, three, and even 4S LiPo batteries. We're using our Eugenix 3000 milliamp hour 50C discharge 3S battery with our uh, Hobby Porter HP 007 7 channel uh, receiver and transmitter here see that little deal these are all uh, sold under uh, Turbo Racing now yeah you can get them from the Asia RC Depot I'll have the link down to them below they're just called uh, Turbo Racing now and uh, I guess we'll pull my protective screen off here Cause that don't look very good. Oh, brand new. <laughs> okay, so we have our body here. We'll get this put on. Uh, we had to try to find a spot for the CSC. We ended up putting it up like that. And we have our body posts raised up accordingly to make it fit. Um, I did have this all done up a lot neater. But uh, when we broke the 5200 kV motor, had to take it apart, put it back together, and put the diff in backwards. So tore it back apart. Now you get some uh, some tape and hot glue. So there's our body. We got some paddle tires off a of hose them. But yeah, we'll get this thing hooked up and uh, go rip around in the snow for you. stuck yeah the snow is just so deep and uh, soft it has trouble in the deep stuff but if we get a running start I think we'll get it Okay, obviously we're not going to get through that spot. Uh, this is one of my favorite RCs of this size. It's got the open differential, or uh, I should say center differential. So that gives us a little bit better control. Okay, you got a good representation of it crashing and getting stuck, so now let's uh, go around without crashing or getting stuck. This was much better with the 5200 kV motor in it. Maybe if I run it on 4S, it'll give us a little bit more punch. But also with the open differential, Puts a lot of power to the front tires. It's kind of like front wheel drive almost. But it keeps it from uh, spinning out, having the back tires spin it out. Maybe we should uh, put some uh, silicone earplugs in the differentials. It'll help it. Uh, we don't want to lock it all the way up. 
but it's pretty loose right now. Like, here, we'll keep the back tires on the ground. It's not broke, that's just how it is. We can do the same with the back tires, put the front tires on the ground. Hopefully we put a thicker weight oil, or I guess probably any oil whatsoever, because I did have some thick stuff in there, but it probably leaked out. I ordered a new 5200 kV motor for this. Either 52 or 5400 kV. Needs a little bit more speed. Like if it was uh, like dry out and we're getting traction, this would probably be perfect. But in the snow and ice, you're just spinning. Especially with the paddle tires, you do a lot of spinning. The HBX 2995 is a really good RC. Like, they're pretty slow stock, but the whole thing is built for higher power like we ran a on 3s battery the 5200 kv motor on here and absolutely just bashed it we even had the traxxas stampede tires on it for a while it was uncontrollably fast and we've not broke a single stock part like the stock electronics the motor burned out but once we replaced that like none of the gears nothing like, I had an aftermarket uh, 16 tooth pinion on the 5200 kV motor, and after a year of use, it had it completely uh, ate away. But the spur gear still looks brand new. It's got the steel spur gear, not no pot metal. It's actual steel or some quality metal gear on there. And it's hooked to the center differential. So that's a really good design. Like I said earlier, the newer ones come with uh, oil-filled shocks already. Yeah, figured get this thing out, play around with it a little bit. Try to jump it over here. <laughs> I guess this is where we should have been the whole time. Well, oh, we're stuck. The other day I went off that and kind of jumped up over there and it was stuck. I couldn't get through there to get it. Had to end up uh, getting the shovel and like a 45 minute ordeal. Here, we'll get this thing lined up and we'll just jump it. Not that it went that far. Well, that concludes our video on this brushless 3S uh, HBX 2995. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. It's pretty cold down here. Just down here playing around. Figured uh bring you guys along. Hopefully uh, next video is a little bit better. Later. Bye.